Welcome back to Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Now we're in this very boring looking section of Bygone Island. It took me ages to find this particular area because it's so like hidden away. Yeah, they didn't even bother with the animation that time. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, here we go, doors opening. Look, the this place is more interesting than the other place though. Yeah, there's a farm. There's a farmland on the other side of that door. Mm. How do people go back and forth from there then? I don't know. Maybe they have to use this crystal every day as a key. <laughs> but this section, this is actually one of the few parts they actually put some degree of thought into because the the farmland section that's influenced by whether you saw that guy in, when you were in the past, yeah. like whether you warned him that he was actually poisoning all his crops. Because I think it's like really a complete fucking mess on it if you go here without it. Yeah, I didn't fix it. That's cool. <laughs> That's just yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, this place looks a lot more bright and vibrant than the Grand Canyon that you was at. It's a lot yeah. more life to it. Well, keep yeah. it being life. Why is, he, <laughs> why is he still carrying that around? He has uh, infinite space in, in his ass. so... <laughs> yeah. No, it, um, he only pulls it out of his ass when it's relevant to the current cutscene. <laughs> Like the grassland and all that kind of reminds me of like uh, the area where Goku lives in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> he does a little bit. I mean, come on, only slightly. Like even like um the overhang picture. Like it, it kind of reminds. At first, you'd think that's like Namek. Like hey, how he's on Namek or say because I thought okay, it, it looked like Namek at first. You know because um. You know the similar green vegetation and like the cliffs that wow. jagged. Bear in mind my knowledge of like the Dragon Ball Z areas and whatnot. That extends to about fifteen minutes with the Raging Blast demo. <laughs> 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 Fuck that video, by the way. <laughs> but, yeah. Now, yes, you can. This is boom. Yeah, you can never grab too many rings, except there's a limit of one hundred. <laughs> Or 150 if you bothered to buy the 3DS game. I suggest you don't do that because why waste even more of your money? Than this. <laughs> that is true. Oh, I hate this section. There's one jump in this particular section, and you'll see what I mean. I don't remember doing this bit. No, oh, I think I fucked up and fell down here. But look, you got that first design problem. That pillar there in front. That means you can't properly see the platforms as they come out. And it's annoying, you can't properly grip onto the edge of these platforms like you can with other, like, platforms. So they couldn't be bothered to make that ages. pillar transparent. No, they've just put it in a place where it's really, it's obstructive to what you're trying to do. Oh, Look, I could have yeah, got that. Like, yeah, if that was nowhere. any other platform, I could have landed on that because it would do that thing where you grip onto Rapid. the side. Yeah. You'll have a few seconds time, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, you'd just be able to grab onto the edge and you'd be up, but yeah, go on. not this. Oh. See, like, that should have... <laughs> that is so pitiful. Should just use Amy. Yeah, but I hadn't thought of that, because, like, this... I didn't realise until this particular recording that you couldn't do that, so I was wondering why it weren't working. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Fuck this section. And we've still got the speed music going on in the oh background here in this, by the way. They should have writing. They <laughs> should have fucking just something to piss me off less. And my voice gets high when that happens. Oh my god. I've never heard you go that high. Yeah, before. that's my angry voice. I can't help it. <laughs> this is my angry voice! Okay, not that high. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Mickey just well. fucking got it. <laughs> Mickey's pissed. No, Mickey's <laughs> getting castrated. <laughs> god. <laughs> Oh. What was that animation about? <laughs> oh, it's them landing in the water. How are they doing that? They haven't gone past the machine to allow them to do it. Can Sonic all of a sudden run at the speed of sound on water? I think they just sort of forgot. <laughs> but this is just a bit of silliness going on. What they're doing is they're tormenting Lyric with the crystal. But you'll see when it goes to a transition in a minute that it'll, they'll just be throwing it between them. Yeah, it's the but, same animations every yeah. time when they do it. I'm sorry, if you notice, some of the uh, like things that are just falling into the water, it's the exact same problem as Kingdom Valley in 06, where like things fall into the water and then they just sort of disappear. Yeah. <laughs> like, granted, I'm not riding that hover, hover bike thing that Shadow was, but still. <laughs> oh, that was really... 
Oh uh, yeah, this is coming close to uh, Metal Why Sonic. Why is Eggman no. even there? Oh, I don't know. Is yeah, it just sort of a side villain? He's working yeah. for Lyric now. Yeah. Look, bear in mind, I think someone somewhere has like, officially said this this game is a prequel to the TV series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I really fucking buy that, don't you? <laughs> Apparently, I haven't seen, I haven't caught up with any new episodes yet, but apparently they referred to Knuckles as being from Angel Island in one of them. Okay. So, is Angel Island canon in the Boom it's, universe? Yeah, that's now? the thing, though. That, I thought this was an alternate universe, they didn't reference like the old. And there's no yeah. Master Emerald. No, so, like, what is. Is the Angel Island, like, just a different, like, area now? It just borrowed the name. Know, it, it's just, like, Sonic really got out of whack after, like, Sonic Adventure 2, I mean. Because, <laughs> like, all the places seem, like, so contradictory to where they actually want to be. I mean, like, oh, yeah, everyone loves colours and all that. Well, most people do. But it's out of space. Like, <laughs> you'd expect it to be in Mobius or, like, mm. something, like... Well, I don't mind them being a little bit fluid, but what makes me laugh is I think... It was one of these Smash games, I can't remember if it was the 3DS or the Wii U one, but there's a trophy for Knuckles, and it mentions about how he's the guardian of the Master Emerald. That hasn't been true in over a decade at this point. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't mentioned the Master Emerald well, in over just, a decade. It's just Lee staying there, like, it's got no purpose, it's just there. He kind of just buggered off, really. It's yeah. like, there is no use for the Master Emerald, I mean, Chaos has left it, so mm. what use is it? Yeah, but like they build up Knuckles' role of protecting the Master Emerald as being like really important, but like in Heroes, which is kind of implied to be in the same sort of timeline as the Adventure games, well, it is because of like Shadow and that. Like he's just running around, and he even makes reference in like the jungle level to like these plants look like plants on my island or whatever. So that's definitely still a thing, but he's just sort of leaving it be. <laughs> it's like nobody's gonna take it. It's of no use anymore. <laughs> no. I mean, it constantly breaks. So. I like the old rule about like, it. Big the like cat the, watching um, it. So yeah. Employ someone else to do it. No, Big's just trying to toss his fishing line into it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I like the old 90s law that you could come up with, like, Avenger Island and all that. It's a lot yeah. more f for fault with it. I mean, yeah, there was a good amount of thought and creativity with it, Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Adventure... Well, more so Sonic Adventure, but after that, it just kind of just yeah. well, went... You say that, but Adventure 1 is a direct sequel to Free and Knuckles. Is it? So, well, yeah, because you've got the, the whole Angel Island plot and Master Emerald and whatnot. It's directly following on from what happens in Mystery and Kirby. I don't really take no, much notes from the storylines, to be honest. Well, no one does in the classic games, because they just an excuse for something to run through levels, and not they? <laughs> Which kind of is what plot should be in games, don't they? In terms of chronologically, I don't really. It's a Sonic game. It's a game for children. You don't need any interest so, in plot yeah. as such. Just make him go far. <laughs> so, Sonic the Hedgehog, yeah. Hmm. Uh, the 2006 game, that yeah. is pretty much the reboot of the original. That was intended to be a reboot, but then Generations put it back into that timeline. Yeah. And yeah, so Generations essentially makes every one of the games featured in it canon in the like Colours Generations Lost World timeline. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, so Generations is the start of the Lost World timeline. And uh, no, that was, I think, Colours. I'm not sure where Unleashed is placed. I think Unleashed might be its own thing. So, so Sonic 06 isn't a reboot, or is it a, like a chronology, chronology um, to do with Heroes? Is that like next after Heroes, or I, is that reboot completely? I don't think it was intended to have anything to do with any of the games before it, but it, it's Generations that's making this a mess. <laughs> yeah. Like, we could just acknowledge them as separate timelines if it wasn't Generations. Because bear in mind, Generations, we saw from like the whole Wolver Q thing that, and Eggman being in space and whatnot, that it is a direct sequel to Colours. Yeah. So that makes it established then. So in Unleashed, that was when Orbot made his first appearance. Yeah, but it was kind of a really different thing. That doesn't really influence whether it's in the same... Timeline, but I it kind of is because of gens, with Rift Up Mine being gens. Yeah, but I think Sonic 06 uh, Unleashed is a sequel. No, yeah, Unleashed is a sequel to 06, and then Colors is its own sort of game, and then Generations, you know, just mm. going on from that. You know? There's a possibility that, cause like, remember 06 erased itself from the timeline then, 
Just because it's erased in the, like, that never happened there, there's always a chance that that particular timeline's floating around and somewhere. And affected some yeah. other stuff. Time- and oh. that's what generations were pulling from, from like the erased timeline. This is why is this, it, <laughs> this like, even more confusing than it has to be? Like, d- to be honest, like this isn't even the Legend of Zelda series. Like, like Sonic's the same, but set from here, you know. Yeah. This yeah. isn't a series about a cartoon hedgehog who goes fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so with generations, it didn't matter with the whole time cluster fact thing because it did just basically say it's a time cluster fact, go fast. Yeah, I think the thing that Jens could have done to make this less confusing, if it was like, instead of being explicitly Sonic running back through time and like rewriting time, if it was instead like different hypothetical scenarios for Sonic and Sonic. I know what could save Sonic. If you put it on the mobile app or um, <laughs> the Let's PC not go games, over this no, again. I know what can actually save it. Yeah, if you do an adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog game, <laughs> with we have to. yes, <laughs> everyone will love it. <laughs> Everyone meaning, like, nerds in their 20s who don't go out much, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but isn't that the whole fan base for fair Sonic? <laughs> Very fair point. There are probably more, like, 20 Sonics in the Sonic fan base than actual kids at this point, aren't there? Let's be honest. <laughs> Just imagine the 20-year-old geezer having a hissy fit like a child about Sonic. What kind, <laughs> what kind of self-respecting parent would actually <laughs> buy this for their child. No, a very cruel person. <laughs> like, like, if your child came home with a Sonic the Hedgehog game, you would be terrified at this <laughs> point. You would wonder what went child. wrong with your parenting. G- giving this to your kids at Christmas is the equivalent of a lump yeah. of coal. Yeah. <laughs> your next door neighbour's called child services because you bought your child Sonic Boom. <laughs> <laughs> you monster. Yeah. What is wrong with you? I have never met such disgusting <laughs> creatures in my life. <laughs> Anyway, this section here, this is, this was throwing me off because the first time I played this, I didn't like do the thing in the past. So like, there was like loads of random weeds and shit all over the place, like making a mess of everything. This time they've got their crops more reasonably yeah. managed, so it's yeah, a lot easier yeah, to navigate. Yeah, the weeds are everywhere, it leads you on a direct path. Yeah. This here was kind of me fumbling around, not sure what I was doing, but I think I've got it on track now. Muscles always win. Um, not really. Sometimes book smarts useful too, Knuckles, you know? He can't read though. <laughs> that is true. He's got reading glasses, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't get over that, Jack. That's like probably the best part of the Sonic Boom series at this point. <laughs> That's it. Smash up some barrels. We've got nothing better to do. A lot of people give Knuckles flag, but I like the character, to be honest. I like Knuckles. Yeah. Yeah, that leg is actually really useful. <laughs> Collect more useless robot parts that will do fuck all for me. It's nothing like I'm seeing all the holes in the ground here. I don't like vertical platforming like this purely on the basis that if you fall through something by mistake, like one accident can completely fuck you over, so you have to start the whole thing again. And that really don't sit well with me, that type of platforming. Except you have to share them with the team nuts. <laughs> See, a lot of people actually give a lot, like, Knuckles uh, um, a lot of like, bad reception for like having like his arms like his is and like uh, being as tall he is. Mm. But to be honest, I think that's better because yeah, he was described as being the strongest out of the group, but there was no physical representation of that beforehand where he was just pretty much the same size as everyone else. At least he's more identifiable with uh-huh. this. I still don't like the redesigns, really. Like, Knuckles, I get... If they wanted to make Knuckles, like, a more muscular sort of looking character, that would be alright. But what they've kind of done is they've, they've basically just pasty dug Knuckles' head on top of some really pumped-up steroids body. <laughs> like, that kind of... His, his proportions look really weird. Like, he's more kind of middle-heavy. Because, like, he's got the head that kind of goes inwards, and his, like, legs are obviously quite thin, but, like, he's... Middle, we kind of just uh, around his chest. It kind of looks odd to me. He skipped a leg day. They actually make a joke like that, don't they? Somewhere in there. Do I don't know. I think so. I think there's some sort of reference. There to is it, a joke there. Yeah. yeah. At least it's not as quite as cringeworthy as Sonic Shang. Cowabunga! <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh, that is so ridiculously dated. <laughs> Funny, I 
See, what they're going for, like, I think, is if you bear in mind, like, original Sonic, he was always, like, the kind of totally cool, like, yeah. Sonic of the time, when yeah. he, like, with the whole totally radical attitude and whatnot. Whereas, I think they're trying to rework that using today's idea of, like, I think uh, cool this, and this Sonic is, like, the hipster Sonic with his scarf and everything. You just need glasses and, like, coffee because the <laughs> yeah. way he starts saying, like, hip. Like saying Cowabunga and all that. It's just so, <laughs> you, you, you wouldn't say that now. That was hideous. That <laughs> yeah. What was that? And you gotta love how Eggman still hadn't realised that lyric can take over any machine. Yeah, but don't you know? If I use this same strategy over and over and over, it'll work eventually, right? You think he learned, Bonner? Anyway, we've got another section where you're on a boat not doing oh, much. Oh god, this is bloody ridiculous. Couldn't you just have stuck in another section where you run on the water? I was just thinking that, actually, yeah. <sighs> this is like a sideways elevator section that you're having like in beat, um, beat em ups, isn't it? He's on a boat, motherfucker. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. <laughs> Good. Oh, look, because I'm sailing on a boat. Alright, okay, stop now. <laughs> yeah, I, I My ears. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you have to not beat, used to this. You have to beat up the robots because they're weighing the boat down. And that's stopping the boat from moving. And Knuckles and his pumped up muscles ain't. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, that's a massive boat as well. Yeah. Oh, come on. But, but who's that band that's singing I'm on the boat, by the way? Oh, Lonely Island. Yeah, Lonely that's Island. It, yeah. But, like, these kind of boats, they're normally like used for transporting stock and whatnot, aren't they? They're that like. Are we really questioning the schematics of a boat? Joey, do you see anything more interesting on screen right now? <laughs> Those trees look pretty yeah, cool. Look at that. Actually, oh, clearly bad. They aren't actually bad leaves. Yeah, they are, they're pretty detailed, I mean. Like, I think the best looking leaves I've ever seen were actually the downfall of the game they were in, like the, the ones from Adabat and Unleashed. Like, yeah. I think each of them leaves is individually rendered, and that's why the wow. framework goes to shit like, during that section. <laughs> but like, uh, at least they tried. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of would like to see certain portions of Unleashed get pulled to, like, newer consoles, or at least have that kind of detail. Like, if they took, like, the Hedgehog engine as it was used in Unleashed and put it, like, on the Xbox and PS4, that could probably handle it better than the 360 and PS3 ever could, that would look fucking amazing, wouldn't it? See it on PC. <laughs> yeah, like there's a few people have started doing that Unleashed project, which is like a hack of generations where, like the free, the PC version of generations where they put the Unleashed levels in. Like obviously there's still a few little kinks in that where some parts of it don't exactly translate to the, un the generations engine well, but for the most part it does look cool. And kind of makes me wish I had a computer that could run gens. <laughs> The fact that you can throw the enemies off of the boat into the water to defeat them just shows how bloody pointless this is. Essentially, yeah. Like, all it is is a time killer. Oh look, it shoots out ice. Yeah. That doesn't cool. make it any different from any others. <laughs> no. This one, it's got that thing where you can't grab onto it though, so it's yeah. a little bit more obnoxious. Like, you have to fight it, you have to waste time. Yeah, whether you like it or not. But I have a life. Leave it. <laughs> there's no much. Room, there's no point for combat in this. No. Is there? Just use the ender beams. Yeah. Did I actually? Yeah, they upgrade you like your punches and stuff like that, can't you? Not really. Oh, no. Oh, you can't. Oh. Which oh. That, that's why, like earlier on in the playthrough, I was praising the Werehog for that because the Werehog at least there's like different shit you can do. Yeah, yeah this... a few people have said that. Mm. They actually tried it, Unleash. Yeah, like, granted their work was misplaced in the wrong areas, but at least, like, there was effort, and if you like beat em up games, you might have got some kind of enjoyment out of that, which this you wouldn't, like, even if this is your kind of game. Here I am doing absolutely fuck all on the controller. <laughs> oh, yeah, you appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. This area don't look so bad compared to the others, I mean. Yeah, it's, it's more right. interesting. Yeah, but, like,. Isn't it a great game when you you can just put the controller down? <laughs> I think it's because, for me really, I prefer like more forest areas and all that, you know? I like the forest areas to a degree. The problem with a lot of forest areas though is that they start to look a bit samey. I get what you're saying, but I like, um, 
I know this is a bit out of content, it's a bit random, but um, you know Jack? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They had a good forest area, I think. What really stood out for it for me was it was raining right, and it was having a dark atmosphere along with good music to back it up as well. I can't remember exactly what the forest name was, but it was like forest? atmospheric. It's a very memorable game, but I just can't remember the levels. I, like the level names, yeah. but I can't remember the levels. Yeah, like Jack, it's one of the platformers that I've been meaning to. Yeah, give a proper shot at some point, but I've never really got to it. It's a lot of soul into it. Jack and Dex, uh, I remember playing that. I really enjoyed it. I'm sorry, that the the frame rate fucked up. And I've so only played the, I've only played it first. Same. I've heard but two's a bit rough in terms of that, like Jack. It's more technological based, and it just doesn't fit in really. I think three's a mix of both. I have the games on PS2, but mm. if I were to like properly get into them, I'd probably pick up like the HD collection just it's, to give it a proper shot. It's not me. I don't mind if like things based on technology, but I would prefer if it was a mix between like old like tribal mm. stuff as well. You know, like mm. like primitive stuff, like um like off the land and everything. That's why. It, uh, Again, this might be a bit out of context, but um, with Destiny, like the planets, they look really lush and vegetative, and they look really nice. And I like that, to be honest. Destiny, if there's one thing I can say I like for it, it's hope for the future. <laughs> what a song. Yeah, it's a good song. That is a bloody good song. Uh, I know a lot of people are getting worked up about it, because it's not like the sort of stuff Paul McCartney does usually, but like... Can you define what Paul McCartney does usually? Uh, you yeah. know, like that guy has done so many different kinds of music at this point. Yeah, you can't. He's done like he's done like a kind of classical stuff as well. I don't know if it's classical, but something like that. You know, like yeah. More... Well, it's kind of more. It's less of a rock melody and more of just a kind of atmospheric piece, like which. From what I've seen of Destiny, it looks like it works in context of the game. So, like, props to him for that. And I think he actually did that for either next to nothing or nothing. Just like, to, as a way to get his music out to a different audience. Oh look, another jump All section. those static tiles or static lights, whatever they are, just fell down. Yet there were robots on top of them. Well, obviously, the robots were hibernating up there on the ceiling, crushed between the stalactite and ceiling, and we just awoken them. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> Putting more effort than Big Red Button did. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we just have to ignore things, but it's just really hard when they're so fucking stupid, you know? <laughs> I felt that they should have replaced the big blue button on Lyric's uh, chest. With a red button. <laughs> yeah. It just would have been more fitting. Anyway, it's another one of them big ice buggers, isn't it? You know, normally in beat em ups and whatnot, these kind of bigger enemies, they're made out to be like more special enemies by only using them every now and then, as opposed to throwing one in every cluster of enemies. <laughs> this one, this game throws them in with every cluster of enemies. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's why it's not a very good game! <laughs> I haven't got anything else to show off. Yeah. yeah they're getting bored, throwing another big enemy. But that's what they're getting bored of! <laughs> yeah! Just throw it in anyway! Throw two in! <laughs> Can I just wake him back up? No. Nah. Nah, that's the finishing move, isn't it? Yeah, you tug on them and they blow up because they don't like being touched. No knuckles. <laughs> and yes, I did just miss that. You seem to always be giving knuckles, for it, but not really Sonic or Tails, are they? He's just easy to make fun of, though, isn't he? But that's kind of why I like the character, really. <laughs> it's like the writing in this game it is kind of dumb, but at least Knuckles said it's like deliberately dumb, you know, because that's mm. how they want these characters to be, as opposed to the others where it's just like bad writing. Well, in the long run, he's more interesting than the others, so that's good. Another puzzle. Yes. Look, guys, a puzzle. This Simon says. <laughs> mm, just do them all in a row and then start with the first one. Yeah, again. you know the boat, the ring boat that we you done earlier. Mm. Um, 
that kind of remind me of a Simon Says system, like we hit oh. them all, like uh, they bop it as well. Yeah, no, yeah, you have to like hit things as yeah. after they've appeared in that certain. Yeah. It's basically the gameplay from Fahrenheit. <laughs> <laughs> I just all three of these games are pretty much quick time event in the game. Oh they? yeah, like Cage is just something. <laughs> and who's gonna spoil their day? Metal. Metal man. Yeah, well, Sonic tried to kill them hell. We've got a really mediocre boss fight coming up. Now Metal's going to stick around rather than deliver the crystal to Lyric. This is pretty much the boss fight in Generations we have to chase after Shadow. Metal's Not really, no. The one with Shadow, at least like that's over quickly. Do you, do you hit him like we you, in this? You throw shit at him, basically. Like do least. you do that in CD? You have to hit him or you have to uh, uh, run him? Nah, you just have to run him in Metal's CD. Metal's making yeah. the same mistake the as the worm. It's a bit more like the Generations one? I don't actually oh, No, I wouldn't say so. The Generations one, it's like on a 2D plane and like he only takes like three oh, minutes Oh yeah, to that's kill. it. You do hit him in the Generations one. Hmm. But what you got to do here is these things that he keeps throwing, just roll them into him. But that gets harder over time because he starts getting more like spammy moves. Lyric knows what happened to the worm, so why doesn't he have Metal get out of there? He's got the crystal. Boss logic. But like these things he keeps dropping, he always like drops them at the last minute in front of the thing you're meant to be hitting. Which is... <laughs> you just ran past there, like, yeah. like no, that was there, just clipped mm. through it. Reusable animation! Yeah, they reuse that animation all the time, like... It's just so finicky. Because uh, Gang Grumps looked at it, it's like, mm. it happens a second time in a moment or so, like after you've done more damage to him. And the only difference is that they've moved the camera a little bit. <laughs> yeah, good job, guys. Uh, this boss concept, I wouldn't mind it as much if it didn't outstay its welcome so much. But it does, and it just feels like I'm wasting time. As far as I recall, the rest of this video is this boss. So, use that as reference. <laughs> it's when he's flicking up the ground at you that, like, it's just obnoxious. Like that. <laughs> I'm meant to work around this, like, in going left and right. You know the ones that are up in the air, I would have thought, Shroom, that you um, jump and um, spin dash. No, what is it? Um, oh, what's the thing again? What, the homing attack? Yeah, you homing attack into them. No, you can't homing attack them. You have to just roll into them when they're on the floor. Or That's as pointless. they're hitting you. He is. Yeah, this version of Sonic is extremely weak. Yeah, I think... Just don't like they it. were running on air for a second. Yeah. And reused! <laughs> Believe it yeah, or I think not, Sonic just I'm clipped through that. On air. I think Sonic just clipped through that item there. That. Like, they bait you into the section that he's going to like dig up with the ring things. Which I think is like, really dickish. Like, how, I didn't have enough time to react to that there because it was like right around the corner. Fuck this game. <laughs> I don't know how many more times I can say it. Fuck this game. But... Good game you got going on here, big red button. I'm not bored at all. Do you remember when Sonic was good? Barely. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very, very yeah. long time ago. The galaxy far, far away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it was years and years oh, ago. God. Where it was a more peaceful time. It was a simpler time back then. <laughs> but now we've just got to wait for a new venture. La la. La la. <laughs> 10 out of 10 enthusiasm. Yeah, God, that's wake me up and this level's done. <laughs> <laughs> or don't wake me up and the last three hours of this part of me snoring. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. See, I think I'm getting near the end because it looked like he was smoking a bit, but I can't remember whether he's been done doing that the whole time. 
Wouldn't it be obnoxious if I died? <laughs> Granted, I don't think it resets his health. I think you just carry on from where you were, but still. There we go. He's brown bread. Yep. He dropped something. He dropped it's the missing piece of the Master Emerald. Oh god, <laughs> not this again. <laughs> Some of his eyes. We don't need this game drawn out anymore than it already is. <laughs> now we've got a treasure hunting stage, now he's got to find another two. Oh god. <laughs> I thought we learned our lesson by Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah. Sega don't learn their lesson though. <laughs> don't we know it?